Bradley sends it to the back post. Boom gets it in front, and it's in the net. And Moore, after hitting the crossbar earlier, finds the space between the uprights. 2-0 Toronto. You get to this time of year, and you have to believe that your best is, is coming. And if you don't believe that, then in reality, you have no chance. Michael Bradley so animated after that Chicago game. It was animated this week when he wanted the Toronto fans to come out and be loud and make it difficult for the opposition. Top five make the playoffs, so still some work to do for the Reds to get there. But to stay in the mix, stay in that pack, all battling for the Final couple of playoff spots in the Eastern Conference. This was crucial to get the result. The way this league works, um, you play all year to get to, to this point. And yeah, there's a team or two that are in the playoffs already. But in large part, everybody's still, everybody's fighting. Everybody's fighting for position. Everybody's fighting to get in. And the teams that can um, come together and find a way to, to get into the playoffs, no matter how you do it, if you if you get in, then there's a, a, a real chance to, to, to go on a, on a roll. Reds try to make a playoff push. Game into the day, sitting in seventh. Morton, three points. Lead by two right now. Low, Bradley touches it in. Another goal. This time it's Gilberto. Three nil, Toronto. Every guy in our, in our locker room believes that, and, and now it's about putting you know, results and, and performances together. A lot of questions answered by Toronto. Bradley clear to the side. And there's the final whistle. Congratulations to Greg Manny. His first win as head coach of Toronto FC and plenty of things the head coach would like in this match. Overall dominant performance from Toronto as they look forward now to these final six games, the crucial six games, to try to get them into the playoffs for the first time ever. This will just carry over. There's a reason to believe now for Toronto in their playoff push. As we do grief, uh, congratulations. You deserve it. You earned it. And not only did you earn it today, you earned it on the training field because a couple of those goals were from the training field. Right? So, but congratulations. You put a lot of work in and you deserve it. So, remember this feeling. Enjoy it. And let's go looking for it every single weekend, okay, as we push towards towards these next few games. Okay, enjoy yourself, so good night, get your recovery in. And we'll see you tomorrow. What? Tomorrow is a regen, and then you have the next day off. What? <laughs> tomorrow you take care of yourself, and then you have the next day off. Okay? So Monday, nice and easy regen, Tuesday off. It's what's best for your body. Right? So it's best for Toronto FC knew getting three points against Chivas USA on Sunday was important. They had to do it. They called it the turning point of their season, and they did everything they had to do. Toronto stays in the playoff picture in the Eastern Conference. A lot of things to like with their performance at BMO Field today, but again, Gilberto was instrumental offensively. This, this team set out uh, towards a goal at the beginning of the year, and that's to make the playoffs. And then from there we can do you know anything, and I think this the character of this team is is just that it's about it's about getting results. It's about doing whatever it takes uh, to get a result. The past couple of results have have kind of brought our mindset back into our winning mentality that we had at the beginning of the year. That combined with all our guys coming back from injury were getting close to having a full squad and and that's really lifted our spirits you know lifted um, lifted our game and just getting back into our, our routine back into our winning ways that we we were once used to Toronto's got six matches remaining and you can see just how close everything is it'll be fun to watch down the stretch every single match that we're playing is an important match for us and we want to try to take full points and try to manage it accordingly so we don't we're not even talking about the playoffs we're not talking about the next six matches we have one match it's against Portland and the reason I think that can work is because we're starting to get a clear vision of who we are uh, and once we understand who we are we don't have to make drastic changes week in and week out we just make little adjustments 
trying to cushion the ball towards the back post. Haglund's there. Haglund scored. That could go anywhere. It's in. It's a second for Toronto FC. There's been a coaching change. There's been, um, you know, changes within the, the, the mother organization. Um, but through all of it, you have a team with leaders on it. You have a team with players that are willing to follow and play their role. Um, and, and again, it's because everyone has a shared vision, and that's to do something special.